Yeah. I always, I felt like I rode bulls. Bulls that bucked harder, I felt like I rode better. Uh, for me, when I crawl in the chute, like I was telling him the other day, you, you try to stay as calm and relaxed as you can. Yeah. No thinking, you never let them see you sweat. And, you know, if I was going up one against, you know, a, a really ranked bull, one that bucks really hard, then you know, I, I would know, like, I better be firing on all cylinders. It, it's go time. You know, you get on one, like a practice bull or something, your motor's not running quite as hard, you, you, you know, and it was just different. And I felt like I always rode bulls that bucked harder, better. And for sure, it's, for me, a lot of pride went into it too. So if somebody showed up with a bull, they said nobody could ride, I was like, let me pick that one. And you know that, that's just how I went about it. I always figured if I was gonna, if I wanted to be the best, I had to get on the best bulls to do it. Do you think Bushwhacker was your, your most difficult bull to, to, to get eight on? Yeah. yeah, I got on him. I attempted him 13 times, only rode him once. <laughs> and a few of these scars where my goatee does not grow anymore came from him. Wow. What happened on those? Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, like. 13 times I attempted him, he never did the same thing twice. Like he was really, really smart. And he wasn't mean at all. Like, didn't have a mean bone in his body. You roll him in the buck and shoot, and you could sit on him. If he was leaning one way, you could just take your knee and push him, and he would just step over for you. Like he was, he wasn't bad, he wasn't mean, he wasn't nothing. And, I, and that's what I was like, I think this is kind of bullshit because he stands like a show steer in here, and you know he's getting ready to buck his ass off. It's almost like, He's waiting on you to be like, all right, come on, go ahead and try.